So when you expose the sediment, uh, that exposes it to air, and then a chemical reaction starts with the acid sulfate soils, which then basically leaches acid into the water and uh, into the soil itself. As far as we know, that has never happened in you know, thousands of years. So we would be exposing sediment, the ancient marine sediments essentially. I remember going out there uh, on exposed lake beds and you just get this smell. Um, it was that um, just acrid type of acidic smell. We did a lot of surveys around the lake. I think I remember one of the first ones near Toldoral where Rob grabbed a sample out, went to the shore, he puts, put some hydrogen peroxide on it, started fizzing up and bubbling, and it was like, it was on. <laughs> we thought, oh dear, we've got a problem. Uh, so we did more surveys, more studies, try to understand the extent, because just because you have it in one location, it might not be uniform, but we're finding out it was uniform, it was everywhere. We realised that there was a huge hazard there, that acid had been um, formed in the soil profile. It, but that hazard, how much of that was going to translate to risk? What we found is that when the acid is produced in the sands and then you have a seasonal rainfall event, that water transports the acid to the remaining water in the lake. So it's the flux of acid, it's the movement of acid to one location which basically makes that receiving environment pop. Go to pH of 2, go orange, everything dies. So that was the one of the awakening moments. It's not about treating small isolated areas, it's about treating an entire system. So this was a real risk, it's not, uh, it wasn't uh, hypothetical, there was real evidence to so say you got acid at 2 pH of 2 or pH of 3 and it has arsenic in it and other nasty metals, it'll be eating your infrastructure. It'll be killing your fish, it'll be killing everything in the soil uh, and it'll be creating a, a pretty nasty smell as well. The best thing always is looking at prevention. Um, unfortunately a lot of the sediments or the acid sulfate soils had been exposed so we already had acidity there and we had you know, the metal contaminants having been mobilised. Um, so then what do you do about that? And you have to try and localise the consequences of it and so that's where the Narung Bund was built. Uh, the connectivity between Lakes Alexandrina and Albert was just shut down. But it was seen as being way more important to keep the acid sulfate soils in Lake Albert submerged as much as we could because the mapping that CSIRO had done had shown that there was a huge hazard and risk uh, if those sediments had been exposed. But the, in unison with that you also needed to look at uh, any sort of control measures so to keep it in check keep the acid sulfate soils issue in check uh, and that's where a lot of the bioremediation uh, came into play. We looked at basically cropping the bait lake bed through a plane uh, using a cereal rye. This was a trial at large so one trial site was 5,000 hectares you know there was big another thousand hectares in other spots 600, you know, 600 hectares in another spot so it was a large trials so the idea was that you you fly the rye out onto the lake bed, you stabilise the lake bed, get that quick injection of carbon, then you follow up with seedlings of the right sort, native seedlings, reed beds, etc. And you plant that in. You know, when we first started getting the results back, it was a very exciting time for me because it was a bit of a gamble, would this work? And we had some clear evidence of where you had carbon in the sand, you had less acid. So I was working. At the same time, we needed to look at treating where the acidity was, and that's where we introduced uh, very fine-grained limestone from Lake Holden in the uh, southeast, and trucked that up and uh, put it in some uh, crop dusters and uh, spread it very finely over the water bodies that had acidified. So now we have um, clear management uh, interventions we can do. Um, everything that we've done, we we can. Uh, do again in a better way. 
so we can get in earlier and not wait to see if something happens. It's about we know what can happen now. The basin has an issue with acid sulfate soils. We go into another drought, they haven't gone away, they're still sitting there.